Hello everyone, thank you. This is Robert at Custodian File. Today is August 23, 2024. Let's just jump right on in. Thank you for all your past support. What do we have here? Uh, yeah, if you're a longtime viewer, well, you know this looking at the Jetty Rocks. That's the uh, red and white chopper is the fire department. Yes, at the same choppers, the same airspace, these small, fast UFOs will approach the helicopter. They'll recon, they'll tag the helicopter. If you're a new viewer, I call them dragons because seven years ago, I'm thinking what you're thinking right now. I thought they were a bug. Uh, they're very small, fast, 2,000 mile an hour. They trigger the X and K band spectrum. They leave a tiny click on your video and they're very predictable. Uh, again, I, I have a lot of videos right there where I could just do a five second countdown because it's the same airspace, same location. A lot of the LAPD right there, that's where they come in and they turn also and they get, they get tagged in the exact same location consistently. Uh, let's go to the next. Please remember to like, like what you see, like, subscribe, comment. I do want to hear from you. You can record these, just edit. You can, anyone can record theirs. They're all over the world. It's not just Marina Dora, they're all over the world. Uh, you can record them without aircraft, but it's just a lot easier with aircraft. They're a lot more predictable. Uh, the difference being um, a few seconds rather than five or 10 minutes of empty sky. Uh, what do we have here? Look at this. Yeah, that's that same uh, fire department. As he came in, he was doing a racetrack rodeo. He's flying around. They're doing the best they can. They really are. They're doing the best they can. That's all I can say. Uh, and that's when he did get tagged. I already showed you in slow motion uh, over and over. And I remember uh, the fire department, the sheriff and the police have already quietly confessed that these dragons are annoying. They're annoying. That's the best confession we're gonna get for now. Maybe later somebody will slip out some video and we'll get some, some more feedback. But nevertheless, this is a documented, this, I have a lot of these videos in seven years. I've recorded literally 30,000 of these videos and I've cherry picked, I've kept four or 5,000. But I always like to keep like the uh, fire department because those are just really hard to come by. Um, obviously, there's no fire here and uh, only the ocean. So you're like, what are, what are, what, what's going on here? They're here, by the way, because of their thermal cameras. They have very expensive thermal cameras uh, uh, that can see a toaster. So you can easily see the IR on these uh, UFO dragons, easily. And that's what you need. Any digital camera can see the IR just like if you take your cell phone and grab your TV remote and push the button and look through your cell phone, you'll see the light flashing. That's the IR spectrum. All right, let's go to the next. All right, fantastic. What do we have here? We have one of the, um, I believe this is the 205 flying grids. There's still flying grids over Los Angeles, checkerboard, LIDAR looking for something obviously that's the only thing you use lidar for is when you're looking for something it takes pictures before and after compares the two and uh and ascertains what the delta image is and uh, so they're, again they're still doing everything they can the activity is up a little bit they're getting a little bit more military now blackhawks uh apaches not like it was a year ago, but uh, it's starting to kick up. In the summertime, we should get a lot more Dragon video because there'll be more helicopters, parasails. But I just want to keep you in the loop here. They are flying grids again over Marina Del Rey. All right, let's go forward. Okay, this is a photo video from uh, one of the viewers series. Thank you very much. All, your, all they're doing is recording airliners. You can record airliners, helicopters, a dragon shows up in the picture, obviously the one on top, I'm not familiar, but it is very suspicious. Looks like an, an unknown UAP. Sometimes they, they, they don't make any sense. They look like uh, uh, noodles, pasta, chopsticks. It's, it's funny, they can perhaps uh, replicate any uh, structure they want. So I just wanted to put that out there, just uh, be aware that you're gonna see things you're not sure of. Put them in an unknown file and come back to it later. 
but essentially record airliners, helicopters, and look for dragons. It's, it's really that straightforward, very predictable, repeatable. Okay, let's go to the next. All right, look at this. Again, August 12th, look at the fire department. Uh, same day, different timeline. I think it was an hour apart, but nevertheless, look, uh, the fire department's in the same airspace, and what's gonna happen to you when you're in the same airspace? Look at this dragon, one of the better videos. That's because the sky's blue, we have more clarity. I'm recording with the Panasonic X1000 4K 60 frame. Uh, you want resolution over frame rate. If you have a choice, if you, in other words, 1080 and 240 frames or 60 frames at 4K, go with the 4K because we really want resolution. And by the way, I don't think we're ever going to ever get a clear picture of these, uh, these UFO dragons because again, there's, uh, I think they're interdimensional. So really they got one foot in our dimension, one foot over there on the other side. They're surrounded by this energy field. Photons are not ricocheting as we understand it in a coherent manner. So the, all we, the best we could do, we get high resolution, get the best picture we can. You notice I didn't zoom in too close. Although if I zoomed in a little closer, yeah, I, I would have lost the dragon by then. So I don't want to do that. Uh, I did have this one interpolated. Uh, I believe uh, uh, I'm getting help from all over the world now. Uh, I believe uh, Daniel in the UK interpolated this one for me. I'll show that. Um, but it's just phenomenal. Thank you everyone for helping out, for hanging in there. You are following your instincts. There's the interpolation. You were following your instincts. You're like, you know, something's odd here. Maybe, you know, I'm sure a lot of you are like, in the beginning, oh, these are birds, these are bugs. But you know, after you watch 10, 20 videos, you're like, wait a minute, something odd is going on. Human intuition. And you stuck with it and you're like, this is not only Marina Del Rey, it's all over the world. And again, just, uh, I encourage you, record these. Send me the videos, custodian file, Gmail. I'll uh, look at them, I'll review them for you if you can't see the dragons. I'll, uh, I'll do what I can, I'll post it too. If it's a real good dragon video, I'll post them too. But this is what it is, I mean, this, we're making disclosure happen. It, it is what it is, it is what it is. We're, and, we're gonna, and we are gonna make it happen. Uh, that's one of the better interpolations, by the way, too. I have a lot of the fire department right there with that interpolation. I have them with twin dragons, phenomenal. All right, let's go to the next. Okay, August 13, what do we have here? We have the contrast. Uh, we have the LAPD, and look at this. Uh, we have a lot of overcasts. There's that uh, fire department again, but we have a lot of overcasts with the, um, with the LAPD getting tagged. Uh, here we go, uh, August 13. So I had to add the contrast in order to see it. Here it is with the uh, blue skies. Nevertheless, just all very same airspace. The whole point is the same airspace. So it doesn't matter, you can be the police, the sheriff, the fire department, Apaches, Ospreys. When you fly in that airspace, you're gonna get recon, you're gonna get tagged by these small, fast UFOs, 2,000 miles an hour, no sonic boom. They trigger the X and K band. I have a car radar detector on my tripod. So when they fly by, it triggers the X and K band 8% of the time, and also 8% of the time, uh, they do leave a, a tiny click audio, a clicking audio. What's going on with the X-Band, the audio? Uh, of course, none of us really know, but maybe it's adjudication. They're collecting data and they're simultaneously adjudicating the data back to um, either a home base, uh, could be a mothership in orbit or in the solar system, but uh, most likely, or uh, somebody suggested it's just simply the clicking could be the radiation, the gamma radiation that they're leaving behind. We just don't know. I don't claim to know it all. Uh, it's, uh, this is, this is gonna need the help of a lot of people. Here's that video again from Ceres uh, with the airliner, the dragon. Look at this thing, it just looks very unnatural falling out of the sky. Just falling out, there's just something very odd about it. Just something not normal. It's not a leaf, it's not a bug, not a bird, it's just a, uh, Put that in your unknown file, and then uh, maybe in six months or a year, you'll see that image again somewhere else, and you can compare the two images. That's my best. Thank you very much for sitting. 
All right, super, we're gonna end with this air show video. People are, are now watching YouTube. They're finding these because you have, the you have the recipe, you have the combination to the lock. You know what to look for. And you, can, you know how to look at these very quickly too. Look for jets, look for things flying by. These are the UFOs. They're, uh, they're not birds, they're not bugs. Believe me, birds are really easy and bugs are really easy. I just actually, I, as hard as it is to record a bug, I just recorded a bug today. Uh, and it looks just like a bug. There's like, there's no question about it. So my point is people are sending me these screenshots. So here's the IP, here's the timeline. I have hundreds of these things. If you're a serious researcher, I know where they're all parked. <laughs> I have uh, the Blue Angels, the Thunderbirds. I have them all the timelines and the IPs. I know where they all are. So feel free to reach out. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, this is, uh, I think, exciting times and uh, more exciting videos, I'm sure, are coming. So until the next video, thank you for watching. Be safe. Uh, I look forward to our next presentation. Take care. Bye-bye.